Hello everyone and welcome to another vlog. I am about to wash my makeup brushes because I think I'm going to clean the um, makeup area. Basically the lower cabinet in my wall unit that houses all of my makeup. I still use my diluted Dr. Bronner soap. This is my favorite way and the best way for me to clean my makeup brushes quick and easy. I did end up receiving the huge almost four liter jug of Dr. Bronner soap, which I started on January 27th, 2023. I've used <laughs> this much so far. And this is the lavender scent, which smells wonderful. I had a bit of the dilution left, so I just topped up some water and I'm gonna top up some soap. It's quite heavy, but it pours pretty easily. And I do leave some room at the top because this has like a big thing that juts out that displaces the water. And that is pretty much perfect. Sometimes I overfill it, sometimes I underfill it, but um, I did a good job with it today. Here are the makeup brushes. They are all clean. I think some of them I actually hadn't used because no makeup came out when I washed them or at least very little. So maybe I had only used the brush once or twice but um, I'm excited to have this done. It always feels so good and it doesn't take much time. It's just that resistance or inertia when it comes to cleaning. Next up I'm going to be deep cleaning this cabinet here which I think most of you are familiar with. This is where I keep all of my makeup and some of my skincare products. I'm gonna be taking everything out, wiping everything down, and putting everything back. So there's not going to be a really impactful before and after because um, I'm not really going out with the intention of decluttering, although I am really in a decluttering mindset right now, but I actually don't have that much old, old makeup anymore because um, I've let go of so much of it. These are some of the things I set aside. This is for recycling. I've taken out the samples. These labels fell off of my Julep nail polishes. I have swatch sticks with their names on them, so I think it's fine to get rid of those labels. These two items I'm gonna put in the bathroom. This is a little sample of toothpaste and this is a little mirror. I took this out to use. This is um, a cuticle oil and then this is just um, a little plastic container that had um, little travel bottles in it and I'm gonna let go of the actual container itself because I'm gonna use my Jack Black tin instead. And since I'm doing a bit of show and tell, I thought I would show you the items that were decluttering. These are just three small bags of items, some stuff from the kitchen and random knickknacks. This is some of hubby stuff as well as an old shower curtain, hubby sandals, and my old winter boots. These are pretty much falling apart and they're not that comfortable Comfortable. So since I bought a new pair of winter boots in Montreal, I'm gonna say goodbye to these ones. Hubby and I were off for two weeks and we went back to work today. We spent most of the first week in Montreal and I've posted that vlog already. We also celebrated his birthday. I ordered Japanese food from a place near us called Minami, which I'm okay about. We've ordered from there twice now. I prefer Jabistro and also Minami's sister restaurant Miku. And I also ordered a cake the 315 cake from Dango, which is a bakery that has a lot of like beautiful Asian flavors where I got the character macaron. And we also got the character macaron, but because we were so full the night of his birthday, we ended up saving the macaron and we ate those on the train ride to Montreal. So it was perfect. But the 315 cake was really good. It's a cake that's inspired by the flavor of um, Hong Kong milk tea. And there's also a layer of cream, I think it is, that tastes like Vietnamese coffee. So it was delicious delicious, such a good cake. His birthday was really nice. We've been back in Toronto for over a week already, but I started my 30 days to spring deep cleaning challenge. So I've been doing a lot of cleaning and now I am jumping back into work. I think I'm gonna have a quick power nap before moving back to my desk. And when I nap, I might put on this YouTube video that Hubby had on yesterday. It's basically just like some nice scenery with some really soothing music. I had a really nice nap. I couldn't find the same video that Hubby put on yesterday, but I found a different one. And um, it was very similar, although I think yesterday's was better. Before I get back to work though, I am going to have 
this donut. I picked this up from Timmy's because I had some points to use up and this is my favorite donut of the moment. Although this one looks a lot thicker. I think the hole's normally bigger, but this is the toasted coconut old fashioned donut. The back though looks really bare. A lot of the coconut bits fell off into the bag, so I'm still gonna eat them. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have this little snack and then get back to work. That donut was so good and perhaps you noticed I got glasses. I started feeling a lot of eye strain in the week or two leading up to our vacation. I was doing a lot on the computer, truth be told. Lots of reports, lots of spreadsheets, lots of book writing and editing. So that's probably why. But my eyes were feeling really strained and I was getting headaches almost every day and stuff was starting to look really blurry. So of course I panicked and I made an appointment with the optometrist and um, she did say that indeed I do need glasses, but my prescription is still pretty low and it's really only for computer use because I'm fine when I'm say reading a book or even on my phone. So I think it's actually my laptop, the one that I'm using now when I switched over from Mac because my Mac, um, the battery exploded and um, it basically doesn't hold a charge anymore. So we had an extra Lenovo, so I started to use that and my eyes have never quite adjusted to the screen. It's not the glare that's the problem. I'm finding it's like the combination of the brightness and contrast and I play with the brightness a lot and as well I play with um, the size of the fonts a lot because it's just not comfortable for me and I'm on this computer so much now. This is my main computer. Maybe I need to get a new laptop, but anyway, I started with the glasses. I pretty much ordered them right before my vacation. They arrived at some point last week and I went to pick them up, but with my vacation, my eye strain went away. So I actually didn't need to wear them until today. These are um, Kate Spade. The case just looks like this. I literally tried on every single pair of glasses in the store, I think. And these were way at the top. Fortunately, I saw them. I like to be like quick and easy when it comes to shopping now. So I knew I was gonna buy a pair of glasses in that store, which is where I went for the optometrist appointment. I didn't really feel like shopping at different stores and just having the process get longer and more drawn out. And we we're heading to Montreal soon, so. I needed to pick something quickly. I was going to buy a pair that was similar to this, but bigger. Too big for my face, I think. And there was another pair that was like even huger. And these were actually the cheapest of the three that I was looking at. A glare because um, these are tinted with some sort of thing for the computer. You can see how well versed I am in glasses. I am having a little snack. I bought this Chinese steamed bun and they got a lot smaller. They used to be, I think, longer and also more like this. Price is the same. You still get two, but each one is just really tiny. I'm feeling a little bit of that eye strain again because I've been on the computer so much. So I am trying to take a lot of breaks because I don't want my eye strain to get worse. And I find wearing the glasses it does help, but as soon as I look up, because I don't need them for anything else besides pretty much looking at a monitor, as soon as I look away from my desk or whatnot, the vision is kind of blurry. That's straining my eyes in a different way. So I'm trying to be really careful about only wearing the glasses when I'm doing like very detailed work on the computer. LU LU is lying in her bed beside me right now and she hasn't really been lying beside me when I work lately. She's been preferring to go to her bag. So yesterday when I realized she was in her bed beside me because I didn't know, I was like, oh, you're here. And I started petting her. And then when I went back to work, she left and went back to her bag. So now I'm just gonna let her sleep. I'm not going to pet her. Even though I really want to, she looks so soft and cozy. It is Lulu's birthday today. She turns 12 years old. I was thinking, what should I get her for her birthday? Because she doesn't really like toys. She'll play with them for 20 minutes or so, and then she will pretty much never go back to it. She has a couple of her favorite toys, and that's basically it. Any new toys, like the Christmas ones we got her, we only gave her one to play with, but um, yeah, she she never plays with this. But I'd say like she was never really that into toys, so I didn't want to buy her a toy. I also didn't want to buy her like a commercial 
dog treat like a cake or something like that we did try buying her a cake i think it was for her first birthday and it ended up being moldy so i had to take it back fortunately we didn't give it to her so i really loved the time i made her a little omelet so it was like a little bit of scrambled egg that i just microwaved and then i put some i think peas and cheese in it and then i folded it over and just gave it to her so i thought maybe I would make some hard-boiled eggs and put a little cheese. I'm sure she'll enjoy it because she loves egg, she loves cheese. Maybe I'll add some peanut butter to it and um, that should be like a feast for her senses. She loves food the best, so why not just give her what she wants? All right, I'm gonna get to work. I am liking these glasses though. They do help. They definitely do help. The more I wear them, the more I'm getting used to them. And um, they're a lot more comfortable than they were that first day when I was still adjusting. So um, yeah, they're working. I like them. These are actually very similar, and have you even noticed this, to the pair that I have from Fermu. So I was thinking because I like these frames so much and I had such a hard time picking out frames that I liked, even though these frames aren't great quality, I mean, you could definitely tell the difference between these frames and those, like just holding them, the build quality. But I was thinking I could ask them to put prescription lenses into these. Oh, wow, you can see like everything that I'm working on. They're so reflective. But um, I do really like these as well. They sit a little higher on my face, like the, the nose bridge goes a little higher. So I do like the shape of these as well. I washed the cover for Lulu's stairs when I was doing the tasks for the deep cleaning challenge today and I'm having a hard time getting them back in. No, it's a bit off. Maybe I should start again. This is the first time we've washed the cover for the stairs, obviously. You okay, Bernie? Okay, let's try this again. The cover's nice and clean, it's just really hard to get back on. Maybe if I line it up like this. and then pull it down. shake off the static because uh, sometimes when she rubs her face in the blanket and she gets that static electricity she like makes a noise like a scared noise so I don't want her to do that she used her stairs she knows it's nap time I just washed um, a couple of our other blankets very recently so I didn't rewash those but I did Rewash this cover. I like to use this pillow when I nap. This used to be my um, cushion that I would sit on in front of my desk. And it's also the cushion that Truffle liked to sit on when, um, when his teeth weren't feeling well. So every time I saw him on my cushion, I'm like, oh no, I have to take him to the vet. Now it is my nap pillow. And Lulu is, of course, in the section where I like to nap. So I'm going to ask her to move over. Lulu, go over there. Go over there. And I'm going to put my pillow there. And I wear my comfy when I nap. So this is our routine. I will cover myself. Lulu waits patiently while I cover myself. She will basically lie on me until I fall asleep and then she'll go back to her bag. So we only cuddle for like five, 10 minutes. And when I nap, I literally cover my eyes with the hood 
and I just do a power nap 20-30 minutes. We are celebrating Lulu's birthday with takeout from Haga Bistro. So this is our favorite noodle from them. This crispy beef, momos, and hubby also got me their tom yum soup. I strain it because there's like so much lemongrass and chilies and mushrooms and ginger, onions, that sort of thing. So I strain it so it's just the soup and then hubby eats the mushrooms and the chicken. Yeah. Lulu's already had her dinner, but I'm going to prepare her special meal after we eat dinner. I am going to make the birthday girls treat now. I'm going to take this egg, which had a little crack in it, so all of this egg came out. I want to make her like a little cake, and maybe I'll just give her all of this. It is her birthday. I'm making her treat. Mm -hmm. This is the best I could do with the components that I had. I made her a little layer cake with um, egg and cheese and this sticking out on top is her birthday candle. It's a piece of cheese and then we've got peanut butter smeared all over the plate and bits of egg everywhere. Happy birthday Lulu! Oh, you're a good girl. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, she spit out the egg? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, this is that's a lot of food for her. It's like another dinner. Oh, she can't chew the egg. Oh. I guess the egg white doesn't really have much flavor, so she's... Oh, she's gonna be so full. She'll eat it after, how bad? Yeah. It's it because the other stuff. stuff has more flavor. She picked it up and put it down? Uh -huh. like, holy. It like came out of her mouth. Oh. Good girl. Oh, she's eating the egg now. Mm. Oh, she ate it. <laughs> Did you like your birthday cake? Happy oh. birthday. I am going to do the cleaning first thing in the morning today because I was talking to hubby yesterday or the day before and I was like this weekend we can clean the right side of the wall unit, the rest of it, along with your desk. And he was like, my desk? He was like, my desk is clean already. And I was like, well, you have to take everything off and you have to wipe everything down and put everything back. And he was like, no, you don't. And so... I decided it might be better for me to clean his desk while he's at work. I've cleared off his desk and look, that's not clean. I'm glad the desk is black though because I've been wanting to show you kind of like the buildup of dust and I'm sure we're all aware of it. But our wall units are light furniture so I haven't been able to really capture that on camera. This is essentially what happens on all of our shelves in the living room. So if I'm not taking everything off and cleaning beneath it and around it, then it's not really clean. And I want to mention that I'm not decluttering anything. I'm pretty much just taking everything off, wiping it all down, putting everything back where I found it approximately. I always find something interesting when I'm cleaning hubby's things. Today I found this, which is kind of neat. It's this plate that's magnetic, so you can put screws and stuff in it and they stick. That's kind of cool. 
Anyway, I found it like this, so. <laughs> this used to be mine, but I gave it to hubby to store his stuff. Nice and clean now, and I didn't go through all of the um, little boxes and things they had with tons of stuff in there. I couldn't do it. I thought the less I look, the better. So I just focused on cleaning the desk itself. I am avoiding going outside because we got a huge dumping of snow. It's clear now and it looks really nice, but I'm sure as soon as I go out, I'm going to want to come back inside because I think we got 20 to 30 centimeters of snow yesterday, last night. And there was um, thunder and lightning. So I think they call it thunder snow, which is like a really rare occurrence. I thought I would just get a head start on cleaning. So hubby has woken up. He woke up um, a little bit late today and I'd like to get the cleaning done before lunch. I don't know if that's going to be possible because it's already 10 30. But yesterday when he came home he saw his desk and he said it looks so clean. So he did notice my efforts which was really nice. He's already helped me to move. You can't see but <laughs> he's helped me to move the couch out of the way and his desk out of the way. So I'm going to be cleaning the last three stacks of shelves in our wall unit and then I'm going to be vacuuming the area under the couch and then I'll be done the living room area which I'm very excited about. This section I think is usually the most challenging to clean because we have to get in behind the TV and there's also a lot of cords and dust and such. I'm not going to unplug everything but I am going to vacuum around the cords and I'm going to wipe the cords down and under the router and all of that stuff that's there. Most of it I don't even know what it is but I'm hoping to get some steps in while I do this because I'll be walking around and I'll be moving about and then I'll need a shorter walk later. I was planning to start cleaning the bedroom today but hubby and I are going to do a little home improvement project. So I decided that we should do that before I clean the bedroom. We are going to put up a curtain in front of our open closet. So you may recall that we had our closets done in 2012. Don't remember if I vlogged it. We used to have sliding doors with one rod across, I believe. Actually, I don't remember what our closets look like at all, but it didn't hold very much. So we had our closets redone with these um, built-in shelves, but it's been like this open closet for, I guess, almost 10 years now, or maybe even over 10 years. And we're finally putting up a curtain. We are not good with home stuff. We just... We're fine with it, like we don't really care that much what our home looks like, as you can probably tell, but um, it's time. We did it, we put up the curtain. This is what it looks like. Our walls are like a beigey color. I didn't really want beige curtains, I really like gray. So it is fine. That took around an hour, 10 year project. Only took an hour. Or an hour project took 10 years for us to do. It has been a couple of days and I was really hoping to have finished this vlog by now. But alas, meetings and work in general are kicking my butt this week. So today is the first day I've had the energy and motivation to do some of my creative stuff during the day. So I thought I would bust out the fancy camera. I'm just gonna adjust it a bit to test out what the background looks like with our new um, closet curtain. So I haven't filmed a video here in a long while, but if we open it up, This is essentially, of course, without the side panel, but this is essentially what the background was before. So it might have been centered a bit more on the closet like this. 
Oh yeah, I'm liking the curtain. It's just so much cleaner. Find a new home for this. This is our shredder with a document that I still need to shred. Those are my morning pages. I shred those every day. And I've got like a couple of scarves here that I need to find a new home for. I was looking at some of my old vlogs from maybe 2015 or 2016. And our place has changed a lot since that time. Back then, because I wasn't spending much time at home, things were really kind of like all over the place. We had a ton of clutter on our wall unit and we had like all of this makeshift furniture because I didn't work from home so I didn't actually need a desk. So I had like boxes with a piece of wood on top. It was very... It was very interesting looking back at those old vlogs. It does remind me that even though we do have a lot of clutter and even though I feel down about it at times or disheartened about it at times, we have come so far. We've let go of so much and we've made so many tiny improvements to the condo and I love that. I love having a small space and use my creativity to use the space in the best way that I can. And I also downloaded Poshmark, finally! I know some of you have recommended Poshmark to me and many, many, many years ago as well. Hubby reminded me and he's made a few sales on it. I'm really wanting to post some stuff. I think I'm gonna aim to do that in April once I'm done the cleaning challenge. I'll have some more time that opens up and uh, maybe I can really focus on letting go of a few more things. Things that I've been hanging onto that I really haven't used in the past several years. That is going to be it for this vlog. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you again in the next one.